Доброго morning. We begin the work of uh, the uh, of uh, Ukrainian uh, Media Crisis Center, and um, then we will have the first uh, presentation about the presentation of uh, the online courses, uh, school management uh, uh, workshop, and uh, Anna Ovarova, uh, program director, and uh, then Svetlana Oksyun, director of the school of num number five, Pechersky district. Vera Ternovska, professional on education in uh, the embassy, the U.S. embassy. She is coming, and also this Alexander Papish, uh, project manager of uh, online education at ERA Studio and Pablo Apsi and Deputy uh, Education Minister. I invite uh, Anna. Anna, the floor is yours. Good morning. Uh, we will make a presentation of a very important online uh, course uh, for our organization, uh, management of uh, the school and private workshop. Uh, Center of uh, Innovative Education uh, Proceeds. It took us uh, for a year to come to, uh, to the, uh, the development of this course, and we are working on. Uh, we are working with uh, teachers in order to enlarge uh, the number of uh, quality teachers uh, to improve their qualities and also principals, and uh, because of that, uh, to, ch to change the to improve education in Ukraine. To understand why. We present this uh, course uh, today. I would like to tell you a little bit about our um, history. Uh, we started uh, four years ago when we started to work with the teachers. Our program was uh, about uh, skills. And we worked with the teachers uh, on mixed education, on, on project management. After two years of such a work, we we understood that when we started working with uh, teachers, uh, they come to our trainers, they, uh, then they go back to the schools. After that, they uh, like uh, white uh, crows in um, within their colleagues, and uh, there could be even co uh, conflicts. After that, we started to work with a small teams uh, from schools, so we had a principal and several teachers, and uh, that was um, the project um, in 2016, together with the uh, uh, pilot schools. And we were working with uh, 24 pilot schools all over Ukraine. And that was our first uh, effort uh, to work with the teams of, uh, from schools. And we focused on the strategy of school, on teamwork, on leadership of uh, the principal, uh, the principal and mixed uh, education for teachers. For us, it was, um, we were surprised that the topic of, of feedback was very important for them. And that is why we started, uh, we enlarged it uh, in 2017 uh, together with the uh, Catalan University. We started uh, the school, uh, school th uh, 3 0, and the other program for the work with the uh, school teams. We work with the pr principals and 10% uh, uh, of uh, teachers, uh, teachers, teaching staff of schools. And our focus, main focus is strategy was cool and we call it this history of uh, changes and the story of changes and uh, feedback and teamwork and uh, also involvement of the whole or everyone everyone who work in on education issues in the school the teachers uh, parents uh, principal and also students and uh, they work on changes in the school and that program of the school 30 that um, uh, that was at the foundation of online course school management and as I told you these are our main uh, main issues and uh, it's a very important of online courses that uh, because of, of what we we what we provide uh, through we provide principles how we cooperate uh, how we interact uh, through this uh, online course what do we provide and how we advise you to uh, to, to interact in your teams and it's about the resume and dynamics, and uh, this is something to, to work on uh, systematically. And uh, because very often there are some uh, there are some competitions, and uh, you do something, and then you don't analyze. And uh, then there is a competition, and there is uh, no systemic work. That's why we recommend uh, to work system to have a systemic a approach and uh, to analyze your work, and also then. Uh, orientation focus on students and everybody knows about that but very often we don't think much about that and uh, we don't ask uh, t uh, students what they want we don't we don't analyze uh, how to improve our lessons and we just uh, say that uh, teacher uh, the students are not motivated the third point and uh, involvement of everyone 
to if you wanted to make your school uh, effective uh, if you wanted to motivate everyone everybody should feel importance and uh, that's why in online course uh, in this online course if we provide information how to, to uh, collect uh, information about the needs of a school of all the stakeholders and uh, that is uh, about uh, parents uh, teachers and uh, pupils or students and uh, uh, then uh, to develop the course of, for development one more point and uh, to uh, to learn by action very often we plan we have we've got used to, to plan for long periods but the world is changing so fast our life is changing so fast that uh, that very often we don't have time for that, and uh, we got we got used uh, to that, and business uh, got used uh, to that, and we would like uh, that format uh, to uh, come to schools and uh, for us uh, to test, uh, to analyze, and uh, what what is working, what is not working, and if something is not working, we should uh, try something else, and uh, then we should uh, uh, learn a. Uh, during the process and uh, that will if the team of the school is uh, teaching staff uh, does that and uh, that people students will ex um, do an experiment and uh, that will work for them and also I would like to tell you about um, how uh, three, uh, three zero school how it works uh, physically in addition to online course we suggest uh, we have uh, the, uh, the tutorial support but you after that online course uh, there will be a homework, and then you will uh, communicate with your colleagues, and uh, my colleague will tell you about uh, how that will happen. But for the changes uh, to be uh, easier for you, and uh, for you to understand what is happening, our um, program School Three Zero, and it, it it is using a mentorship, and uh, if you if you need assistance in that. During the online course, you can, you can click a link to our program and you can get registered. Or uh, you can go to the website of the ProSuite. And uh, this is it. And thank you for your attention. Good morning. Alexander Papel, Center Project Manager of uh, uh, online education at ERA. We start a new online course, uh, school management uh, workshop. And uh, what I would like to say, all materials in the course and the registration, yeah, uh, there is a 24 hours access uh, to them and uh, independently you can get registered uh, for the course and you can study with pleasure. The course uh, consists of uh, four modules and a final, a final uh, uh, test and uh, every module will be published according to the schedule on the platform. Today we open the first module with the first uh, study materials. And uh, could you give me the remote control? So here's a registration page of uh, our uh, course and so several steps to get registered for the course and uh, then you can uh, you can you get access to study materials what is the most important it's a free course you don't pay for anything for education after you uh, finish the course you can get electronic certificate if you if you succeed uh, during the course what what do we have here uh, in this online course it is built on the principle of micro uh, micro learning micro what, what, what is that? This is the approach when a, a certain top, topic is then divided into logi logically logical parts, which uh, make the whole uh, picture or an idea of something that you are learning. And there are three important stages during uh, learning in uh, micro learning. And I will show you each one, and you will see how it is uh, implemented in our online course. Uh, the first stage. It's the stage of performance and uh, when you uh, think in advance, when you find out about uh, something new and one, uh, why you need to, to consider one or the other topic. And in our course, that is, um, we have um, video videos at the beginning of every module and it shows what you will learn and how you can apply that practically. Next stage, and uh, that is uh, the a performance phase, and uh, it is uh, implemented here as a 
with uh, study videos and uh, uh, theory and practice are combined uh, and also it's uh, an interview with those experts and uh, with uh, stakeholders who are um, motivators in who are engines in uh, the education process and uh, and uh, they are part of those methods uh, that are demonstrated within the course. One more format of video that we have in the course, uh, that is, um, uh, we have uh, practical videos, and every method is uh, discussed uh, from the moment uh, of uh, implementation in the school and uh, up to results you can get after you implement it. And all of that, all of that is uh, demonstrated with practical examples, and uh, uh, it doesn't require any special efforts for implementation. And we hope that uh, such a practical approach uh, will allow to implement, uh, to put that into life right after, after you uh, watch these videos, study videos. In addition to uh, study videos, so in these uh, three formats, uh, the course includes uh, additional study materials. One can download and uh, print out, and you can use them in your everyday work. And uh, they add uh, to your materials, uh, and they are a tool for daily use and uh, daily use and implementation of the methods. In addition to these uh, two stages that I uh, described, there is one more important stage, and that is. Uh, the stage which is called uh, self-reflection phase, when we summarize and we assess how we uh, learned the material, how we grasped it. And uh, we have uh, tests and also practical uh, tests. As to tests, it's important uh, that we have uh, Three formats of test. Uh, the first one is uh, like interim test uh, after every every video study video, and that allows uh, to 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 uh, to see how you know the course. And uh, then module control format. And in the end of every every mode mo module, and it's like a summary in order to improve the learning of the material that you are. Um, go through. And in the end, every module has uh, practical assignments in the format of uh, peer to peer and uh, that is uh, inter-assessment. Uh, the point is, when you answer the que questions, and uh, it's, uh, it's a creative assignment, and uh, you need uh, to hold in your own school, and then you have uh, to share, you need uh, to share your experience and the results of that uh, task, uh, of the assignment. When you uh, complete the task, you get um, four works of other participants of the, of the course in order to check them. And then you assess uh, the implemented task according to, to certain criteria. And uh, you give a feedback to participants of the course. Uh, and then you provide uh, that uh, principle of peer-to-peer uh, -peer assessment. And uh, after you assess uh, the work of those of other participants of the course, and you, you get four of such, and then you, uh, you, uh, the system will send your work to three other participants of the course, and they assess it. And uh, the average of uh, the average points uh, will will be will show your progress, and uh, that is a part of the success uh, of the course. Why is it important to use uh, such a format of questions, and uh, why or such a questionnaire? Why have we decided to use it? Because uh, any participant of a course, uh, of that course, and uh, who who use uh, the methods, and uh, we need to, we want them uh, to share experience with other colleagues, and uh, to share experience is very important. And that positive or negative experience, in any case, allows uh, to improve and to to use it in everyday practice. In addition to that. There is a forum, 24 hours a forum, and uh, the uh, users uh, can share their opinions, uh, and can give their feedback, and communicate with other participants of the course. And they can make, uh, share their recommendations, uh, their visions, and uh, their thoughts. And uh, then they can interact during um, their learning. If there is any technical technical issue, any technical, yeah, they can always uh, speak to um, their support uh, team through forum or through content uh, information on the platform. What 
um, the summary. We hope that this uh, course will become one more instrument which will help all who participate in um, school management to develop and to build um, efficient communication within the schools, and that will help uh, all, but all stakeholders, uh, parents, and teachers, uh, pupils, administration of schools, uh, to be able uh, to build that comfortable, comfortable education environment, uh, which is. Uh, which is uh, focused uh, at uh, students of schools and uh, for all the stakeholders to, uh, to be able to feel how the system is uh, working and uh, how uh, for them to feel the quality of education. If there is any question, we are online. You can communicate with us. And uh, the course uh, starts today. And uh, it was planned uh, because in the majority of schools of Ukraine they uh, start uh, they have uh, uh, autumn vacations, and uh, we hope that this uh, course will become a uh, very good news, and uh, they will be able uh, to spend uh, their time free time productively, and. Um, not only um, they we can only not only recreate but also they can do something useful thank you for your attention Pablo Jose the floor is yours good morning deputy manager of education of Ukraine I will be I will be brief and uh, first of all I would like to thank um, uh, at uh, at uh, era and also as uh, Prosvit and also the Embassy of the U.S. Uh, for for helping to implement this project, and this is the first uh, point. When we when we run reforms and if we speak about uh, Ukrainian school and we uh, train teachers, uh, especially in the prime school, and uh, there are made uh, that course. Uh, and all the teachers that took part in it, and uh, those uh, who took uh, the first uh, class, and uh, about uh, 60,000 uh, uh, got registered uh, for that project, and uh, they got uh, certificates, and um, and it was very important for us uh, f to train uh, principals of the schools, and we include them because uh, why? Because uh, the principals are leaders of institutions of schools, and uh, they are working without uh, the support of uh, principals and. Uh, Therefore, it's very difficult uh, to implement any project. Uh, second point. We understand that uh, distance course and those uh, three modules uh, of uh, four of ten days uh, that all the teachers uh, took, uh, all the teachers of the first uh, uh, first uh, classes passed. Uh, it's not enough uh, to change the values. That requires more time. To change values, it requires a change in values, uh, uh, demands more time because uh, our school was authoritarian and uh, learning was based on uh, sharing of knowledge. And now we speak about a competency approach because we didn't pay attention to values and uh, and that idea uh, that idea of the new school, Ukraine school, and, uh, that comes out from Suhomlinsky, School of Partnerships, uh, Management. Uh, Culture that that is uh, something to do in our schools. We would like um, to support the teachers and uh, who are in the prime schools and also in the schools. So we we wanted to introduce uh, a mentorship and uh, supervision to support the teachers and uh, to uh, visit uh, uh, to visit uh, classes and uh, to, for us uh, to see how they uh, they understand uh, the format uh, how. How they can use it, and uh, do they understand uh, the point and of new methods, and uh, through uh, development, uh, through activity, through uh, partnership, and uh, when uh, and uh, when they are on the same level of, of teachers and uh, uh, students. But teachers should be leaders of the process. They should uh, give assignments, and they but they should impress on uh, the personality. It's not that easy. But without uh, these changes, uh, we will not uh, change uh, the the school. We will not have a new Ukrainian school. That's why a principal and a deputy principal who are in the school all the time, and uh, the, they are responsible for mentorship, of, uh, for supervising the teachers, and uh, for providing support to teachers. And uh, that will happen with uh, principal values of uh, principals and deputy. Uh, 
deputy principals if they have these uh, values. And this course uh, for principals, it will help uh, to, uh, to understand those things. That's why I, uh, I call you to get registered, and it's uh, free of charge. We will, uh, we will, uh, we will have uh, courses, uh, tete -a -tete courses, and I believe that uh, this uh, civic society, because uh, Adara and uh, Prosuit, those are NGOs, and uh, civic society. If we bu build uh, networks, associations uh, of teachers, and if they support uh, one another, if they share their experience. Uh, uh, in this uh, very difficult, uh, difficult project of new Ukrainian school, then we'll have success, and that's why I would like to thank you once again, and I invite you to uh, all to register and to study. Life learning is this is uh, one of the messages of our education and of a new Ukrainian school. Thank you. Vera Ternovska is uh, no. Svetlana Oksiuk, director of the school number five of Pachir district. Good morning, dear colleagues. I am a director, of, uh, principal of the school number five, Pachir district, in Kiev. And I, when I was invited for the presentation of this course, I had two questions. What's the point? What's the content of uh, something which will happen on the platform? And practically, what will be able to take from, uh, from that? Now I see not uh, uh, it's not uh, just a Ukrainian crisis uh, center, but uh, 16,000 uh, principals of uh, Ukrainian schools of Ukraine who have uh, to learn daily, and uh, the more platforms we have for for getting new knowledge and skills, so the more people uh, involved in the process, especially such young, bright people, the more NGOs participate in providing assistance to, in order to develop the best education in the school, the better it is for all of us. Because at present, teachers, teachers and parents in schools, in parents' home, they decide, decide about, uh, about our future. Teachers in schools, parents at home. That's why when I looked at this uh, course, I, I was happy with uh, several uh, several things. Uh, that's, uh, some definitions um, are new for me. It means that uh, it means that there is something for me to learn. And I advise uh, advise uh, to read and uh, what is recommended by those people who who work who work on this unclear uh, uh, issue for our education, uh, that is about uh, school management, because all of us, we should participate in this uh, process. We should open uh, uh, doors and windows and uh, to system management, uh, management of changes, of transformation of education. And I believe that here, uh, I and you, you, we will find uh, something uh, new and innovative and um, it's very difficult uh, to achieve if uh, we just read uh, newspapers and books, uh, even if we sp speak in our uh, staff room. And uh, that course uh, will uh, build a communication between important, important uh, innovations suggested uh, from the top and from the bottom to us, and also uh, and also a teachers' community. And uh, that will. Teachers, they will build their professional association, and then uh, professional, then professional association will de outline the quality of management and uh, quality of education, and uh, then uh, they will, they will improve communication. They, professional associations, and they will be main, the most responsible judges uh, of, and executors of that order for new, that demand for new wind in education, and as uh, to content and also as uh, to management. It seems to me that uh, at present the Euro and the autonomy of schools and also organizing financial and uh, stuff, we have it, but de, de facto it, it is absent. Uh, this course, I invite you to participate in it, and as I did it yesterday also, this uh, course will help us uh, to turn our, uh, uh, to turn de, de facto uh, into the the euro. And we need uh, to uh, make teachers in, in independent, we, uh, respectable, and we, uh, the school should be the main uh, institution in our society. Thank you. Thank you.
Vila Tarnowska, professional education issue in uh, at the embassy of the U.S. On behalf of the U.S. Embassy, I would like to, first of all, I would like to tell you that we are very happy that uh, this is an official uh, start, uh, start uh, of the program, though that began before. And uh, the U.S. Embassy is, uh, we um, we um, keep keep an eye on uh, on grants. Uh, we finance uh, this uh, program through the project of uh, small grants uh, for public diplomacy. And I would like to tell you that uh, uh, today we have uh, we start a new cycle of this uh, competition for uh, uh, for grants, and uh, the project is there to support the projects uh, focused at uh, support and promotion of uh, education reform. Education reform was uh, uh, as uh, it's a priority of uh, Ukraine government uh, for the development of the society. Together with um, uh, the Ministry of Education and Science of Ukraine, we we keep a track of the events. We understand what is happening and uh, where our assistance is really needed. In Ukraine, they run projects as, uh, on academic um, honesty, and uh, now we pay attention um, um, to schools, and we're happy uh, that we were funding uh, this uh, project, which is uh, very important. The main principle of funding our projects is uh, not uh, to allow a, a, a hungry people to eat fish, but uh, to give them a root and uh, to teach them how to fish. And that's uh, the principle of this project, uh, to give levers and to give instruments which will allow to manage schools more professionally, which uh, can help uh, to implement uh, new ideas within the concept of a new Ukrainian school. Thank you. I would like to thank the organizers of the project and wish you great success. And uh, we are uh, we are uh, near you. We will sup support you all the best. And uh, several questions, maybe questions uh, to uh, speakers uh, to Anna uh, to Alexander. How do, are you planning to? Speak to promote information about uh, this course among the teachers because um, people um, from in cities uh, they can uh, um, connect to the project but there are a lot of uh, small communities and uh, maybe they would uh, they have access uh, to internet but they are not on uh, participants of the plot platform uh, too we we cooperate uh, with uh, communities and uh, with uh, about four uh, communities, and uh, and also we send that information to amalgamated communities. And also we have our own co community of teachers and principals, and who visited our uh, courses or uh, our events. Also, also we work through uh, social uh, networks, and also we send uh, that information through uh, social networks. And uh, we would like to suggest uh, to the Minister of Education uh, to send our information about uh, this uh, course and such an opportunity. Thank you. As uh, it was uh, Adara and uh, together with the Minister of Education and uh, with uh, other partners, we launched. Uh, one more interesting online course uh, for uh, prime school teachers, and that was in, uh, meant uh, to improve their skills. And uh, that uh, that is online course, and uh, it uh, be became a trend in our education community. And uh, to participate in different online courses, and uh, I will tell you even more. Our teachers and uh, managers, school managers, and uh, they uh, they know about the novelties uh, that. Uh, in uh, online education, they keep an eye on that, and uh, we, we, uh, they are interested in new project uh, projects, and um, that audience uh, on, on our website that allows uh, to get register for this uh, course, and uh, they can participate in it, and uh, they can take it. So we are sure that uh, the number of participants. Uh, that we are thinking about, and those who participate in the course, I, I believe that the audience will be big. And uh, now we have uh, more than 3,000 people uh, uh, re got registered for this course. Thank you very much. One more question. I understand that, uh, that the course is uh, made uh, for uh, principals of schools, but because uh, we have uh, kindergarten and uh, the reform will come uh, to that level too. Uh, what about? Uh, Directors or principals of uh, kindergartens uh, could they uh, could they apply this course to two? the course was developed uh, in such a way that it can be applied 
in my not uh, opinion not only in education organization but in any organization because uh, the, the principles that are uh, used by any organization which I would like uh, to be horizontal and um, to include all participants of the process into into what is happening in the organization in a company so kindergartens and uh, schools and universities they all of them can use this uh, course uh, thank you very much if there is a uh, question i would like to thank you all and i hope that uh, this uh, course will be helpful to all who would like to change they can use uh, this uh, opportunity to its maximum thank you very much